Hello everybody, in this video I'm going to show you how you can beat the L3 avatar uh, fight. Uh, it's so hard by the way, uh, I do this on the mount, uh, the torrent mount, and I recommend doing so as well. I'm using Confessor by the way, with a melee build, with uh, faith, but uh, focus on melee. So basically I use an in, uh, incantation, it can deal lots of damage, dragon fire as you can see. There's a long reach so I'm in a safe place, even when he does his AoE. Uh, as you can see, there's uh, lots of damage. I can even eliminate them uh, with just that, but the thing is that the other ones will actually die at some point, so I need to change to... Uh, my melee. The other thing can bring is skeletons that can, if you can get aggro, they get, they're gonna revive themselves, so you can continue with them. But personally, again, uh, uh, I, I don't have time for this. Usually just eliminate them, so I thought just go the safe route. And if I gonna spend time, I'm gonna spend time, it's fine. Alright. So you can see already 50% health, so now it's just uh, me and him. Oh, well, soon it's gonna be me and him. Yeah. So I do this, basically uh, I keep distance, especially without this uh, ability that starts shooting projectiles, so I just run fast and avoid the projectiles. Uh, this is uh, kinda unlucky, yeah. Uh, just be careful. Usually if he uh, hits things, he's just gonna destroy everything on his path, so that's fine. Um, after that, I'm just uh, the idea is to get closer enough to him so he, d he does his, his move attack, and then I can just uh, focus on dealing damage to him. All right. So again, when he does the when he does the stomp on the ground, but we can continue doing it. So better to get close to just initiate this attack. You see, and then I can go in. When he does that, by the way, be careful because it can hit you if you go in. I'm evading, and again, the idea is to get close again. He does it again. I'm just moving, keeping my distance. And uh, as you can see here, just waiting for the opportunity. Get closer just to trigger his attack because you need to be closer. You see, now he's going to attack. And I'm going to go in. I can be, by the way, closer. I have so much time. You can deal lots of damage, by the way, like that if you come closer, if you are closer. This is not good, by the way. Again, I need to be careful. So that's what I do. Again, evade. Getting closer just to trigger his attack. And then I can attack myself getting. Here, I'm not taking chance because it was too late. It could be a bit closer, but the thing is that he has good range, so... Again, I'm doing it again. Keeping my distance. And I try to trigger his attack again. Getting closer, now he's in doing it, and now I know it's time to attack. Just rush through. Alright, so that's basically it. So yeah, it's very, very easy. There's nothing complicated here. Just continue doing the same thing. You have time, you have the distance, you can be safe. Uh, and you can do fine, even if you have use a melee. Of course, if you have uh, other spells, uh, it's going to make it easier for you. Maybe during the fight himself, maybe before, when... Uh, using the ghost to tank them. Basically, as you can see, I'm just waiting for the opportunity and then I go in. It's a very, very easy fight. Yeah, so this is it. I hope you find this one useful. Again, you can use melee, you can use spells, whatever you like, but you can see how, it, how it's done. Not really complicated. So again, thanks for watching. Uh, I'm a new player, so maybe I miss a few things. Keep in mind, I never play Souls game, uh, but I'm learning each time, loving the game. So again, if you have any other tips for other players, uh, let us know in the comment section below. I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Cheers.